Hello, the following is a tutorial for installing the Boondocks landing gear to an Old Town Predator using the 8 inch stainless backing bars. We've chosen the thinner edge of the gunnel just behind the battery box for our installation location. Step 1. Loosely assemble your knuckles and crossbar to determine your hole location, orientation of gussets, length of your spacer bar, and overall width of your landing gear. When attaching the gussets to the knuckles, whether using quarter 20 bolt or the quarter 20 track bolts, you can pre-assemble the fasteners like you see here. Once all four gussets are attached, insert your spacer bar into the inside of each knuckle extrusion. You'll have something that looks like this. Our latest groovy design offers more flexibility for your hole locations, and that was needed to install the desired location for this particular kayak. You can see the offset. Should you choose to offset your gussets in this manner, it is important that you check the hole pattern against the backing bars to ensure alignment. If everything lines up and you have your hole location set, tighten the outermost set screw against the spacer bar to make a registration mark. This will leave a small circular mark from which you can create the cut line. Measure a half inch from the circular mark to the end of the spacer bar and mark with a square. Do this on each end. Using a bandsaw or hacksaw, carefully cut the end or ends off of the spacer bar. Reassemble, readjust for location, and tighten all four set screws. With the knuckle assembly in place, mark your hole pattern on the boat. For those of us who need a little more peace of mind before drilling, use any or all of the following checks. Pull a straight line across the holes and measure from a rigid spot on the kayak. I've used the seat frame here. Measure the line from each side to check that the pattern is square. Check your holes against the backing bar. Recheck that your gussets and backing bars are aligned. Once satisfied with the knuckle orientation and pattern marks, slowly drill the holes using a 3 8 drill bit, being careful not to let the bit walk. A smaller pilot hole can help keep the 3 8 bit straight. Once all holes are drilled, reset the knuckle assembly and drop each 5 16th bolt with a flat washer through the open holes. Reach through the hatch located behind the seat with one arm. Hold the tapped backing bar up to the 5 16th bolt. Using your free arm, turn the respective bolt until the threads catch. Make a few more turns to secure, then repeat for the second bolt. It helps to alternate bolts a few turns at a time to keep the assembly from binding up. Do not tighten down hard at this point. Repeat these steps for the opposite side of the boat. Once both backing plates are drawn to the gunnel, you can tighten all bolts down hard. Now the hard part is over. Mount your wheels to your legs. The Kiwi upgrade is sold separately and pictured here, fastened with provided clips. Plug each leg into the appropriate knuckle. Now you are ready to roll. Thanks for watching, and we hope this tutorial helps with the installation of your Boondocks Groovy landing gear. For more products and information, visit us at bdxusa.com.